Over the course of a century, the world witnessed the rise and fall of the Soviet Union, and with it, the changing perceptions of the typical Russian woman. Before the Soviet Union came to its peak, the ideal woman could be seen through the lens of Bauer's camera in The Dying Swan, 1917, by the protagonist Gisela. Gisela is entirely dependent on men and clearly gains a great deal of pleasure from their affection. In this scene, we see just how feeble Gisela appears, as the man who claimed to have loved her just a few days prior is now seen with another woman. Clearly, Gisela is distraught and confused, as evidenced by the contrast between her feeble hand gestures and the passionate display of shown in the window above her. During the peak of the Soviet Union, the definition of woman changed yet again, as shown in Veronica's character in The Cranes Are Flying, 1957. In this context, the true Soviet woman undergoes great hardships so that the collective may live on and prosper. This quality is exemplified when Veronica is victimized by Mark's frustration with life in the form of sexual assault. As a result of his actions, Veronica is forced to marry out of wedlock, yet unable to tell her fiancé's family the truth because she cannot damage their relationship with one another. Even though it clearly pains her to repress what she has undergone at the hands of his nephew, Veronica does not reveal the truth when Boris's father snidely attacks her character. The director exemplifies her role yet again by showing how all of the men seem to be in agreement with the speaker, directing their hatred towards people such as her. By the same token, Kalatozov is showing Veronica's unity with the Russian ideal, as she dresses similarly to all of the men as Boris's father recounts Soviet values. However, this does not detract from Veronica's role in Soviet culture, as she is still forced to bear the cross of those around her. Out of Perestroika comes a different tale of Russian women, as exemplified in Little Vera, 1988. This new woman has strong character, a tough exterior, and is not afraid to stand up to men who attempt to impose their will upon her. In this film, Vera does not hesitate to take what she wants and then simply leave. However, this is not to say that the new woman is without compassion, as in this scene, Pichel shows Vera caring for her father, even though her mother refuses to help. Clearly, she has the ability to simply walk away, yet she shows loyalty to the older generation. The new Russian woman does not feel compelled to abide by traditions of courtship and parental guidance with regard to marriage. Vera displays this trait when she literally laughs at Andre's attempts at traditional flirting. Altogether, the arc of Russian women has been one of strife and self-liberation, culminating into a strong individual who stands up to the world, yet does not forget those around her.